What's up guys? Today we're gonna to check out some brand new tech. We got HTC's U12 Plus here. We're gonna especially talk about the edges on this phone, but before that, let's start with the basics. This is it. It's quite large. It's got a six inch display, two by one ratio, sizing it right in between the Samsung S9 Plus and the iPhone X. I think it's a bit weird that they didn't launch a smaller model at the same time since they've added the, the Plus at the end, but I guess Plus is the new normal then. The design is pretty cool, quite unique, with uh, the colors changing slightly when the back catches light. HTC calls this liquid surface and it consists of several layers of glass in slightly different color tones. Uh, the U12 Plus comes in three different colors, flame red, translucent blue and ceramic black, which is the one I have right here. If we look at the camera specs, it has a dual 8 megapixel front camera, f2.0 and 1080p video recording. The back cameras also consists of two lenses. It's got a 12 megapixel wide angle and it's got a 16 megapixel telephoto lens, f2.6, that lets you shoot 4K video in 60 frames per second. The phone is IP68 certified, meaning it can handle dust and water. It runs on Android 8.0 Oreo and it has a 3500 milliamps battery, which is the same as the Samsung S9 Plus. It does not, though, have a jack output, but it comes with these USB-C connected noise canceling earbuds. And if you have larger ears, smaller ears, you can fit the earbuds with these. For security and login, you got the fingerprint reader on the back here. See, pretty nice placement if you ask me. You can do face recognition with the dual cameras on the front, or you can even unlock it with your voice. Sadly, the U12 Plus does not support wireless charging for some reason. It comes with a quick charger in the box, and it also supports Quick Charge 4.0, which will take your phone from 0 to 50% in just 15 minutes. But then again, you'll have to buy a separate charger. As I mentioned earlier, we were going to talk about the edges on this phone. HTC, they're calling it Live on the Edge in their launch campaign. And uh, what's all that about? Let's explore. The U12 Plus has HTC's Edge Sense technology, meaning that you can set different functions for how you squeeze the phone. For example, you could turn on the flashlight with a short squeeze, or you could turn on the camera app with a longer squeeze. You can customize the squeeze functions quite a lot. You could also wake Google Assistant by squeezing, or you could take a snapshot by squeezing. And that, my friends, is very handy here in the cold north. We wear gloves all the time. Another new function is that you can double tap each side of the phone, and it will by default go into one-handed mode. You can set this to whatever you want, but the one-handed mode is especially practical if you have smaller hands. You can even small or enlarge this one-handed mode based on how far your thumb reaches. You can also adjust the squeeze force level, something I found very useful. So if you have a firm grip, then you set the level to high. And to find out, you can perform a squeeze test. You can even practice how to squeeze playing this little cute balloon game. Another feature we have not seen on a phone before is the smart rotate function. HTC calls this the most practical feature you never knew you were missing. And I so totally agree. I hope all phones start copying this from now on. Basically, what it does is that the edge sense notices how you're holding the phone and it prevents it from going into landscape mode, for example, when you're laying down. <sighs> there actually is one kind of annoying thing about this phone and it's the placement of the lock button. It's a bit too far down, so I keep hitting it when I really don't want to. There you have it, guys, the U12 Plus. Overall, it's a good phone. Specs-wise, it's about where it should be for a flagship phone. It has the Edge Sense technology. It's cool, it's different, and it takes some time to get used to. But if you're a person that really wants a big phone and you have small hands, this could be your choice. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please hit the like button. 
Also, you can tell us what you think about the U12 Plus by leaving a comment. Until next time.